All right, check, check. Here, myself. Got oh, here. Okay. okay, I've got a lot of uh, lessons to grade for you, so I'm going to work on that while you're uh, taxing us out. Sounds good. Check, if you have check, any questions, check. Let me know. Okay, we'll do. Check, 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 check. Skyhawk 64556 holding short uh, runway 17 right at Charlie, ready for departure. November 64556, Hooks Tower, right turn northwest is approved, runway 17 right at Charlie, clear for takeoff. 17 right at uh, Charlie, clear for takeoff, and the uh, turn to the northwest approved as well. Thanks, Sky. All right, Mike, control, control. 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 Why don't you get your hood out? Okay. Thanks, sir. Take the drop. Welcome. I might have to do kilo after all. Three tango X-ray. Number two tango X-ray. Uh, your discretion, sir. You can continue to kilo or hotel and taxi to Yankee Two monitor ground. There's nobody on final for your runway. Thank you. Okay. And, all right. Uh, look away. Your controls. My controls. Yeah. Let's fly north. Okay. One thousand five hundred feet. Got it. All right, go ahead and uh, close your eyes. Okay. And keep, keep flying. I'll tell you when to level off when we get to 2,500. <laughs> All right, so we're a little bit too far to the west. So go ahead and turn right and level off here. Still eyes closed? Yeah, keep your eyes closed till I tell you otherwise. Okay. All right. And we'll just continue to fly straight and level for a little bit, so. Okay. I have, good. I have no idea what we're doing right now. All right, you're just flying straight and level. We're assuming that you flew into a cloud, for example, at night. You didn't have your lights on or something. So uh, you're turning left a little bit, so go ahead and straighten out. And you're descending. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, descend at about 500 feet a minute without looking. And uh, we're level. Go ahead and turn right about 10 degrees, 10 degrees of bank. All right, go ahead and look up and recover. Don't look outside. Look at your, I'm sorry, look at your instruments. <laughs> All right, give me a left turn to a heading of north and climb to 2,500. So did you know you were in that big of a turn? No, not at all. I was uh -huh. getting really disoriented. I was getting busy, yeah. I think, with my eyes closed. Yeah, that's the point, is I want you to realize that you can't trust your feelings, right? Because right. it probably felt like you were going straight and level, yeah. or maybe descending a little bit. But when you look up and realize that, you know, we're in a 45-degree bank or something, it's really insidious how it gets you little by little. Your body gets convinced that whatever's staying constant is straight and level, yeah. even if it's a turn. And we normally don't realize it because our eyes tell us the truth and we can see it but when you can't see like with your eyes closed then uh you know it, yeah it definitely it, felt like we were straight level but i knew that i knew what was happening yeah, <laughs> I knew okay. we were gonna be. yeah right <laughs> yeah that was a shock when i looked up wow yeah all right let's climb and maintain 2800 2800 As I drive 36 up there, turning base for runway one. All right, have okay. fun. Thank you. See you in a minute.
Yeah, the service traffic, uh, Skyhawk 64556, taking runway 17 for uh, left post traffic. Navasota. Pitching for 55, be a little bit lighter without the instructor. A little bit of a crosswind. It's 55, rotate, and we're in the air. And at about 700, we'll make that turn to crosswind. Climbing at VY, about 70 knots. Low down trim. Look at the traffic. Nevisota traffic, Skyhawk 64556, lined up on uh, final runway 17, Nevisota. Of flaps here. Watch for a little bit of uh, crossing from the left side. And we're high, but we got plenty of runway. Navasota traffic, Champ A2 666, departing 17 Navasota. Navasota traffic, Skyhawk 64556, clear of the runway, Navasota. All right, so quite up here, we're going to do a soft field takeoff. All right, so full back pressure. Okay. We'll walk through this together. Okay. So I got flaps 10. All right, good. Let's go ahead and add some power. Once we start taxing, we're not going to. We're going to want to use the brakes as little as possible. Navasota the traffic, Cessna one six eight nine five, about four miles to the northwest. Oh. Cross the midfield to the left downwind for one seven. Navasota traffic. Four miles to the northwest. Okay. Um, well, that guy's going slow. So back on the power a little bit because we want to. We want to be able to turn without having without to use brakes. any brakes. Okay. Yeah. So to the extent possible. All right, now we're going to add power gradually because when we add power, it's going to kick rocks up if we're on dirt and we okay. don't want to hurt the propeller. So add power a little bit so that we start rolling faster. And now you can go ahead and go full power. Keep full back pressure okay. until that nose comes up. All right, full power. Full power. All right, and then we just hold that nose about six inches off the ground. Okay. Until we get to about 50. Yep. And no, until we rotate. And then we want to stay in ground effect. So we're going to keep down until we're at VX, VX and then climb out. Okay. All right. So see how nobody ever wants to push the nose for far enough down. Yeah. You know, so we, we it's much safer to keep the plane in ground effect than it is to let it come out of ground effect at too slow an airplane. So you come out of ground effect at VX, right? Yeah. VX okay. or above. And we're over the obstacle, um, so I'll pitch down. And lose well, there the is no obstacle. It's a soft field, not a short field. Oh, okay. Well, I was just going to transition to VY. What's that? Yeah, just uh, yeah. yeah. Lose the flap. Yeah, I mean you could climb, you could accelerate in ground effect to VY and just climb out of VY if you wanted to. Okay. But uh, usually students are anxious to get away from the ground, so yeah. I say once you're above VX, you can go ahead and start raising the nose. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, you want to hold full back pressure as you add that power, the nose is going to come up pretty quickly. So then just release that back pressure, but keep the nose off the ground. So it doesn't, you know, we don't want the nose to hit a rock or something sure. and cause us to flip over, or break off. Do you want me to do it or? Yep. Okay. You're just probably not going to put enough rudder in, so I'll help you. <laughs> No, this is going to go already. Yeah. <laughs> 1,700 hours of giving uh, dual instruction kind of tells me what mistakes people make. Turn final also at pattern altitude? Uh huh. Okay. And then is it uh, power idle during the flip? Yeah. Yep. And we're going to go right rudder, yeah, left Because we're a little faster than normal, you can, if you want to start getting the, easing the power back now, you can. Um, it doesn't matter which way you slip because the winds are calm. So otherwise I would slip into the wind since you're going to want that uh, wing down anyway. But I would slip with left rudder so that that side's down so you can see out that side. Oh, my side down, okay. That makes sense, yeah. And do the rudder first? Do the uh, yep. Uh, Alright, go ahead and turn final. Power to idle, we want to be at about 80 knots now as we start the slip. Now remember, our airspeed indicator is not going to be very reliable now. Okay, uh, just not getting air slip. Yeah, keep the nose up to get your power back. Carpeed on. Alright, go ahead and apply your rudder. Go left. Right rudder, right, right, right. left aileron. All right, let me know when you're in your slip. Sure. All right, so let's put full rudder in. Oh. And then use your aileron to keep us lined up with the runway. So if you need okay. more. And Oak Tower, Cap 4224, entering the pattern for 17 right. And all your, you're using pitch attitude to kind of handle your airspeed because we don't know really what our accurate airspeed is, right? Okay. And that right rudder is just stuck to the ground. We're not moving it at all. We're using the left aileron to keep us over the center line. Yeah, we're just hitting about 700 feet a minute. Yeah. Once we're here, go ahead and release gradually that rudder. Keep your nose straight with the ailerons. And we're a little bit faster than normal because it's a no-flap landing. Just Kind of smoothly touch it on. All right, nice. It felt weird all around. Yeah, good. <laughs> if it felt normal, that means you're normal landing. <laughs> November 5566, the golf contact ground, 20. Exit the golf, and we'll contact ground. Thanks for the help, Scott. 556.